To be honest, I have a lot of difficulties with my style because people just don't get it. They, they don't get the ironic Burberry, they don't get my hair. People are always making comments about my hair, like, every day. So, my issue nowadays is... You would think in the 21st century that we would be able to dress how we want and we would be able to wear what we want and not be harassed because of it, but that is sadly not the case. I'm going to take people through a series of style tips. I live in East London, in Bethnal Green, on the cusp of Shoreditch, and a lot of people come here to pick up style tips and I just want to share my style tips with the rest of you but at the same time not get you to follow mine. It's more about individuality and doing what you want and just being your own person. So one of the products which are very popular in Shoreditch area, Bethnal Green, the East London vibe, is Illamasqua. Now, I'm actually not that much of a fan of Illamasqua, but I really do like their bright orange nail polish. And the reason why I like it is because it's really resistant. It, it will stay on for a long duration compared with other products which just come off. Obviously, the more you invest in a nail varnish, the longer it's going to stay on for. And it's no different with Illamasqua. Their nail polishes, they are a bit extra. I'm not such a fan of their other products because I don't personally think they're that good value for money. So, what's my favourite makeup line? Well, a lot of people are going for the Illamasqua, the new trendy sort of um, up and coming makeup companies. But you know, I personally, I'm into classics. I love Chanel and I've got a lot of stuff from Chanel. Um, mainly they are lip glosses but I've got so many. Um, I've got this one here, which I love. It's um, peach fondue. Then I've got this one here. They're a bit dirty because I'm just always throwing them about um, my room. Um, basically, I'm going to bunch together all of my Chanel lip glosses just to show you how many I've got. Um, Is this enough lip gloss? It might be a bit too much. Mightn't it? Oops. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, Chanel is a classic brand, and um, I think that you know you're wearing Chanel. You you're buying in. You do pay extra, but you're buying into that world of Chanel. That world of um, Mademoiselle Coco Chanel, her world that she created all of those years ago. And I don't know about what's trendy and what's not. Like I said, I'm all for being the individual, but I do love Chanel. Now, I'm going to end this first podcast with a bit of a tutorial. Um, Basically, I'm just going to apply some of my favourite um, lip gloss on and get you guys to watch while I do it. It's not going to take me long. Um, the stuff I absolutely love. Um, it's pretty unconventional. It's normally an eyeliner, but I often do use eyeliners on my lips. And this one here, it's just gorgeous. This one is Makeup Academy, not expensive, but what I love about it is the glitter, the pieces of glitter, individual glitter, they're very small, 
very compact and they stay on your lips and you get a really high concentration of shine and glitz and glamour. So basically, um, I'm going to apply it now and you'll see when I'm putting it on that it's kind of it's kind of difficult to put on because it's not meant for your lips but you can see I don't know if you can see how it shines in the light already but you can see how opaque your lips become with this one here So, here's the look completed. I've greened myself up to the max and I feel like an emerald hat here. It's vintage fur and I'm going out now to Brick Lane to do some shopping. This is a typical look for me. This is what I wear pretty typically on any day you see me. I'm going to be blogging again very soon. I hope you all like what you've seen and I hope you guys subscribe.